Hello, my name is Christopher, and today I'm going to show you how to install Planka on Dockage. So, a little bit about this series. I'm going over home labs, installing things, getting things set up, everything like that. So, if you're interested in that, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel, and let's get started. I wanted to let y'all know about the Big Bear community. We just launched a uh, community on community.bigbeartechworld.com. It's based on Discourse, so go on there, join it, and uh, say hi. So. Let's get back to your registered programming. So this is what I'll be installing today, Planka. It's a real-time Kanban board for work groups and is built with React and Redux. Um, here's some screenshots of it working. And here's some features, so create projects, boards, lists, cards, labels, and tasks. Add card members, markdown support, filtering, customized project backgrounds, a real-time update, internal notifications, multiple interface languages, and single sign-on. So that's what we will be in installing today on Dockage. So now I'm going to start on Big Bear Video Assets. There will be a link down in the YouTube description to get to this. And I'm going to go over the search and type Planka. And then now I'm going to go to how to install Planka on Dockage right here. So we're in bigger video assets and then how to install plank on dockage. Now we're going to go in the Docker and pose. And um, so version 3.8 of Docker and pose file formats being used. I'm going to set some services. And then the first service underneath the services is called Big Bear Planka. And then the container name is going to be called Big Bear Planka. And this is so Docker doesn't have generate a random name. And then the image is coming off of GitHub because the ghcr.io right here. This is the Docker image registry. And then this is the, 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 the Docker image. And then this is the Docker image tag. So container restart policy is unless stop. So that means if you stop it for any reason, it will not try to restart. But if it fails any other reason, then it will try to restart. And then volumes down here, we have three volumes set. So on the host side is the left side. And on the right side is the container side. Do not ever change the container side. And then... Um, so, Big Bear Planka user avatars is a local volume that's defined down the bottom. And then, same with this one, and same with this one. And the right side, the right side, and these all are on the container side, and, the, and, and then on the host side. So now, port, uh, port mappings, so 3,000 on the host. If this does collide with another port on your host, you can change it. And then on the container is 1337. Do not change the container port. And then environment variables. So um, the base URL uh, is here, and we'll need to change our, our dockage uh, IP right here. So, and, and then um, the database URL. And then the secret key. We will be generating a secret key to replace that. And then now the default admin account settings right here. And then um, network. So Big Bear Planka network. And that's defined down at the bottom. And then the dependencies, it is dependent on Big Bear Planka Postgres service down here. And the condition service healthy. So now uh, the image, so now we're in the service right here. And then the image down here is coming off of Docker by default because there's no year before this. And this is the, the Docker image. And then this is the, the Docker image tag. So now this service right here is right below the services up here. And um, a restart on failure means that if it fails, it will try to restart. But if it, any, if it does anything else, it will not try to restart. Uh, so volumes. So Big Bear Planka PostgreSQL. That's a local volume that's defined down at the bottom. And this is on the host side. And then on the container side is var lib PostgreSQL data. So now... Of the environment variables, so Postgres DB is Planka, and then the Postgres host auth method is set to trust, so it doesn't need a password. And then networks, Big Bear Planka network, and then um, hell check. So now we're going to define the network, Big Bear Planka network, and it's a bridge network. And then now we're going to define all the volumes. So we got four volumes to define in Big Bear Planka user avatars. That's a local volume. And then same with this one, same with this one, and same with this one. So I'm going to go over here to copy raw file. I'm going to click it. Then I'm going to go over to my dockage and get this installed. So I wanted to let you know uh, about the Big Bear Club. Uh, 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 you can join it, and it greatly supports this channel, and I very much appreciate it. 
So uh, if you'd like to join the Big Bear Club, you can go down in the YouTube description and uh, go to my Ko-Fi link and join it from there. So let's get back to registered programming. So now I'm going to start on my dockage and I'm going to go up here, compose. And then I'm going to put the stack name of Planka in. And then um, I'm going to come over here to the editor and I'm going to paste in what I explained over in Big Bear Video Assets. Um, so once we do that, we're going to say deploy. And what this is doing is it's downloading the Docker image off the registry, getting it extracted, getting it up with Docker Compose underneath because this is using the Docker engine. Um, so I, I, you'll notice that um, this is not uh, this, uh, this is not going to be running. It's going to be starting forever. Um, so we'll need to fix that. So now I'm going to get the container running. So I'm going to go up here to the edit button, click it. Then I'm going to go over here to the editor. I'm going to paste in my dockage IP address right here. Once you do that, you're going to go ahead and deploy. So now it's restarting, starting, and then now healthy. So we got the container running. So I'm going to create the uh, secret key now. So I'm going to start in my terminal um, and then use OpenSSL, RAN, hex, and 64. So now I've created my uh, random secret key. So I'm going to copy it. Then I'm going to go over to my dockage and get this set up. So now I'm going to start in my Planka stack. I'm going to go to edit and then scroll over here to um, secret key. I'm going to take out this not secret key. I'm going to paste in the one that I generated. And then once we do that, we're going to scroll up to deploy. So now it's been successfully deployed and it's got the secret key. So now I'm going to go over the dockage UI. So on the homepage, you'll have statuses of active, exited, and inactive. And this is statuses of your stacks over here. So I'm going to go into Planka. So now you see actions up here. So edit, restart, update, stop, and then stop and inactive, and then delete. You can also see the containers in the stack. So there's two. And you can go into the bash, and then there we go, and then the SH. Um, you can go back to Planka, and you can do the same, same thing with the Postgres. Um, so you can see the logs down here. That's great for debugging. And you can see a read-only version of the Docker Compose over here. So if you wanted to edit that Docker Compose, you'd go up to the Edit button, and you click it. Then you can add a service underneath the services, a quick and easy. So um, now you can see it right here. And um, you can edit it from the UI. So you can go and edit and you can just click that one. And then now it syncs over to the editor over here. So you can see that it's right here. Um, so if you want to get rid of that, you just delete. And same thing with these. You can cha change things from, from the UI or you can do the editor over here. Um, you can add a URL. You can set environment variables. You can uh, change the networks, internal and external. Um, so. You can go over here to uh, actions, so you can deploy your changes, save your changes, stop an inactive, and then discard your changes. So I'm going to discard my changes. So that's a little bit about the dockage UI. So now I'm going to go into the UI. So you can click this port right here when you're in the Planka stack. I'm going to go to 3000. So now you're in here and you can log in. So I'm going to go with the demo and then demo. So now you can create your first project. And then now I have a testing project, so you can create a board. And then you can create another board. So you have two boards up here. You can edit the uh, title or delete them. Um, you can add another board right there or import. You can add a list. So testing and then testing two and then three or two, three. Um, so now you can add a testing and then you can move them to list to list and then um, one and then two. So, so you can have a, li a list in the one and two and three and you can add another list if you like. Um, you can go into the card. You can add a description, a task, and then uh, you can check mark the task and say it's done. You can also add a comment down here. There we go. And then you can edit and delete it. You can add members, labels, due date, 
and then stopwatch attachment subscribe move duplicate and delete um you can go over here to users and you can add a user um, you can see notifications. You can go up here to settings and you can change your phone number, organization, and then your language if it doesn't auto detect. Preferences, you can subscribe uh, to my own cards by default and turn that on or off. You can see the about Planka. So that's a little bit about Planka's UI. So I just went over step by step on getting Planka working on dockage. So if you like this tutorial, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And if you have any video suggestions or any community support, you can go to the Big Bear community and join our forum. There's a link in the YouTube description. So stay tuned for more.